Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some of the most underrated tech jobs for 2021. There are some incredible jobs out here that we talk about quite a bit, such as software engineering, software developer, designer. What else do we talk about? We talk a lot about big data. We talk about data scientists, all these really quote unquote sexy jobs right now. However, there are so many incredible and in demand tech jobs that don't get it as much uh, shine or at the moment anyways, as they probably should. And we are going to go through them today. Before we get any further though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these awesome subscribers here. Thank you for your questions, feedback, comment, all of the above. Thank you for being wonderful. Okay, let's get started. I've been seeing so much on social media and talking to my friends about glamorizing some jobs in the tech industry, such as software development or especially data science. That's a huge one right now. And that's great. It's good they're getting attention. They deserve, uh, we need more people in those uh, jobs. So it's good that they are getting the hype. However, there are some jobs within the tech industry that should be getting more hype and getting more highlights because they are amazing jobs, they pay really well, and they're in demand. So today we are going to be going through them. The first one on the list is quality assurance analyst. No surprise here, every team, big or small, requires at least one quality assurance analyst, if not a lot of them typically. QAs or quality assurance analysts are impeccable to the team. They are such a huge part of technology and really the product life cycle, ensuring that everything is up to date, that it's kind of surprising to me we don't talk about QA as much as we should. So what exactly do QAs or quality assurance analysts do? QAs are responsible for the final step in the development process. Once the code has been pushed, QA's job or role is to test the code or the feature that has just been created. This is done before the code gets pushed into production. The job of quality assurance analysts is to ensure everything is up to spec, everything meets standards, that when the code is to production and being used by the end user, there is nothing that goes wrong. And you might be thinking, well, how often do developers really push code that needs uh, testing or refactoring? Let me tell you, all the time, unfortunately. We try and do our best, but way more than you'd even think. Uh, things go wrong or different scenarios go wrong that we didn't even think of. Quality assurance analysts are responsible for manual testing, so they will uh, go in and manually test the software. And then also too, they will build different automated tests to run to ensure that the software is up to date and consistent. The next on the list, number two on the list is technical support. Where would we be without our technical support team? Where would our customers be? They would probably be non-existent or a lot of them would be. Technical support plays such an integral role in the product itself and supporting customers, onboarding customers. Although maybe different generations use the phone less than others, nowadays we're even using different chatbots, but if the chatbot cannot answer the question, there is a human behind that monitoring and ensuring the questions asked get answered and actually get resolved. It takes some incredible people, I think, to do technical support or customer service, because not only do you have to really understand the product or software inside and out, but you also too have to be a customer or people person. You have to be, for the most part, pretty pleasant. And a lot of times people on the other end of the line are not that pleasant. So for anyone watching this that has done customer support or is in customer support, leave it down in the comments and I will make sure to uh, send you a lot of hearts your way because that job is just, it's incredible. I think it takes someone so amazing to do it. So technical support is something we don't really speak a lot of, but it's so in demand. Every company needs a lot of customer support or technical support people. So it's something I really wanted to highlight as another amazing job option for anyone out there. Okay, number three on the list kind of gets hyped sometimes, but other times it really gets brushed to the side, which is DevOps. I think DevOps is one of the coolest jobs and one I hope to have one day or something like it. They play such a key role in the software, in the product, and without them, we literally would not be able to do many releases or builds and it could just be a whole nightmare. So what exactly do DevOps engineers do or what is DevOps? DevOps is a set of practices that combine software development with IT operations. So it's essentially the combination of different practices and tools to increase an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at a high velocity. When I think of DevOps, especially for someone who has no idea of what it entails or can't really get their head around it, 
like myself at first, it's think of it as a combination between software development and operations. So DevOps promotes faster and more collaboration between the development side of things and the operations side of things to deploy code in the most secure and safe way possible, but also to in the fastest way possible. And DevOps are essential to a team. They make a lot, a lot of money and are one of those jobs that really don't get as, I feel like DevOps should be the new sexy job of 2022. Like, you know, data science, you're amazing and all, but move over, DevOps is coming on in because I don't know, I just, I really think DevOps is amazing and it's a job that I hope to do one day. And uh, if someone like yourselves are watching this and is interested in DevOps, give this video a thumbs up because I wanna know if there's anyone else out there that is interested in it. I just think it's such a cool job and there's so much to it and it really gives you a strong understanding of the total picture of the product. Okay, last one on the list that I want to talk about is network and systems administrators. So what exactly are network and systems administrators? Even to say it is quite a long sentence. Well, it's a job that contains a lot and you are expected to have a lot of knowledge on a lot of things. They're expected to have experience with a range from programs, technologies, networks, servers, security, and programming. So as you can see, there is a lot to it. And of course, coming with having a lot of responsibility and a lot of knowledge comes a great salary as well. Um, and they're really, as I mentioned, the jack of all trades. And it's one of those jobs that doesn't get enough hype or in my opinion, enough praise for how difficult this job is and um, how hard these people work. So when you think of system administrators, what I like to think of is just a simple sentence of they install, organize, and support an organization's computer systems, including local area networks, wide area networks, network segments, internets, and other data communication systems. Okay, that was a mouthful, but I guess at the end of the day, when you think systems administrator, just think they are responsible for the computer's systems organizations. There are so many other jobs in tech that I am missing that do not get enough hype or enough attention um, that I'm sure will. I feel like all jobs kind of go in phases where they're considered to be the cool jobs and then next week it's something else. So you really have to find what works best for you, not what is just trending at the moment because it will change. That being said though, tech, the tech industry as a whole is continuing to grow and grow at such a rapid pace that no matter what job you pick in the tech industry, you are set, you are good to go, as long as you especially are willing to evolve and learn with the technology. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, leave in the comments what other videos you want to see me make. Thanks everyone.